What makes going out to a bars for 7-8 hours and getting home at 4-5 am enjoyable for a lot of people? The events that occur while out. You could apply this basically any activity you don't enjoy. One person might be totally okay playing video games for hours and hours until late at night and think it's totally fine. Another person might think it unthinkable to look at a monitor for 40 HRS a week and do it more when they get home. People spend hours and hours doing things others don't understand playing golf, watching sports, gardening, hiking, playing board games or whatever else. If you don't get it, you'll feel exhausted doing it. If you like it, it feels invigorating. It's the dancing and being with friends. It's just silly time fun. It's a break from being serious at work all week. Are you an introvert and she's an extrovert? Hanging out with friends, meeting new people, singing and dancing, trying new drinks, bonding, and maybe getting laid. It's not like we're sitting there quietly in a chair chugging alcohol and staring at a wall. Recovering addict alcoholic here 5 years sober I went to bars underage from 17-21 until I went to rehab because I had no friends no enjoyment at home, severely depressed, and I honestly wanted to off myself. Being around random people, getting drunk, and having conversations with strangers who won't even remember me the next day made me feel something for a few hours, like I was good enough to talk to. Alcohol is like Red Bull for me. Also a lot of fun shit is more likely to happen between that time. My friend fell asleep in a bush once in Vegas, and we found him on the way back to pick up some food at 7am after an all-nighter breakfast. It's a story we'll never forget and I think that makes it worth it. This thread again. People like to socialize, let their hair down, drink, dance, laugh and party. What's not to understand? Oh but I don't like it. Okay. I hate chess but I can understand why Magnus Carlsen likes it. Youth. If the bar has good food plus reasonably priced drinks and conversations at the table are poppin' then yeah, it's a good time. Not something I d do every weekend, nor would I intentionally stay out until morning but sometimes the night takes us until the morning. Seems like it's the extrovert edition of gaming while drunk in calms with friends in a silly game. It's escapism. You can forget your troubles for a few hours and have fun hopefully nothing good happens after midnight. Don't worry, your friend's girlfriend will grow out of it. I'm in my 50s now and that kind of night out would qualify as torture to me. In my 20s, it was the delinquent unfiltered camaraderie and the fuzzy memories of the bullshit we got into after close. Always something to keep laughing over the next time. Boot after the 20s that crap isn't so much fun as it is woeful and painful. Basically, it was a hoot and a half until I grew up a bit and got smart. They enjoy socializing and shenanigans. Like me. I know it's hard for a Redditor to comprehend this, but it may possibly be the friends and company? That's my guess I don't drink. Who spends 7 or 8 hours at a bar that often? Even in my most drunken, bar hopping, social days I don't recall ever spending more than maybe 4-5 and even that would be like a once or twice thing, barring an all-day music fest once or twice. But the bars here also close relatively early, 1 am. Typically people wouldn't even really start showing up until 9-10-ish unless there was some kind of event at the bar or you're getting dinner first or something. But I mean there's plenty of positives to the social experience that comes with bar life. Plenty of negatives too. 8 hours regularly though? That just seems excessive. Those type of people are typically rich alcoholics with no real friends of their own who just want some company. The day after a night of drinking is worthless. When I was 24 my then 21 year old girlfriend broke up with me because I wanted to go home at 1am instead of the usual 4am. She called me old. I think I just matured and decided I didn't need to stay out all night anymore to be considered fun. What makes staying at home and gaming for 7-8 hours and going to sleep at 4-5 am enjoyable for a lot of people? Different people like different things. Different horses different courses.